It's time for our community spotlight. And today I have Stacey Sheeman with the Ashland United Way of Ashland County. <laughs> and good morning. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Great. It's a beautiful, can you just love this weather? And we are getting into that time of the year where, ah, summer. It makes it hard to work. <laughs> certainly does. But I'm sure lots going on at United Way and you brought a guest today. So tell me what's going on. I did. So I asked Heather Miller from the Ashland Public Library to join us today. Um, last year when we did our Fun Fridays, we invited them to join us for the three that we had um, last summer so that they could launch their summer reading program and kind of reach the community in a different way. And it worked really well. So I thought that Heather could talk about the summer reading program today. You know, one of our, you know, pillars is education. And we want to make sure that during the summer, the kids have access to quality literacy products and that there's not a summer slide. And, but we want it to be fun. We don't want it to feel like school. They're done with school. So we want them just to enjoy. Teachers are thanking you everywhere for keeping them reading. <laughs> the summer. <laughs> right. Right. So the library does a wonderful job and they've got a beautiful book mobile. So I'm going to hand it over to Heather because she's kind of the expert in this area as the director of the library. So she can talk a little bit about what they hope to achieve with the summer reading program. Thank you, Stacy. One of the things this year is our summer reading program, as Stacy has mentioned, and we have partnered again this year with the United Way. This is one of our many partnerships that we have in the community and our summer reading program is something that is for all ages and it will start in on June 6 and run through August 6 with our touch a truck interactive event being the last thing at the end of August. The theme this year for summer reading is oceans of possibilities. One of the, the new things that we have coming up with the library is a new way to log your summer reading activities or your reading and it's called a uh, beanstack tool you can actually sign up for it online at ashlandoh.beanstack.org or download the app on your apple or android device the app actually gives you some virtual badges for your reading reading completion and doing some of your activities so it's a really fun interactive um, tool that you can use that's new to us, but you also get some physical rewards here at the library that you can pick up for achieving some of those badges throughout the summer. You'll also get entered into our grand prize drawings that are actually 10 unique different choices throughout the um, community that we have gathered for prizes. So you can register or not register, but be involved in that and choose what enter, enter entry you want into those. And then we have, um, next week, we have some uh, special ocean-themed story times that will be starting on May 19th that gets you ready for your summer reading program that we've got coming up. We have weekly events all throughout the entire summer that you can join us. They're all over. We have quite a few at the Guy C. Myers Memorial Band Show. Those are for all ages. There's many, many different programs. You can see that full listing on our library events calendar that's on the website, which is ashland.lab.oh.us. The library's bookmobile is also throughout the whole entire community, many different stops. So you'll see us out and about with that. So please come join us this summer to catch the reading wave and explore your library and all the awesome things that we have to offer. I see what you did there, Heather, the reading wave. I love the ocean, <laughs> theme. <laughs> yep. I love the ocean theme. So let me ask you, I mean, as an adult, sometimes I can't sit down and read a book. Does it count to do books on tape or audiobooks? Yes, absolutely. We have playaways too that are a little device that you can actually slip in your pocket. I used to do that when I was mowing the lawn and I would be listening while I was mowing the lawn. So yes, we have that wonderful option at discount. Me too. I've gone through a couple of books just mowing. <laughs> yep. And, and Stacy, you fund this program for the summer specifically or to the library as a whole? So the, we... Nobody funds anybody um, for this. We just feel like it's a natural partnership between the two of us. 
We wanted to make sure with Fun Fridays, because we've done them for years and years and years, but we wanted to bring some more focus to our actual mission. And with education being one of those things, we felt like having the library there, they bring the bookmobile and they have their staff and they've got fun little prizes that they hand out to the kids, but it was a really good way for them to get people from all ages because all ages attend Fun Fridays. Can you um, explain what Fun Fridays is? So Fun Fridays, we have food available, like lunch food available for the community, free of charge, and then also entertainment. Um, and we have one in June, July, and August. In June, the Akron um, Zoo is coming, so they'll bring three to five animals, depending on what the weather is like, and um, they do a presentation. And so we just, there's a lot of people that just kind of come down and enjoy the nice weather, get a meal. And then we have vendors that are around that offer um, opportunities to engage in their services as well. We'd like to highlight our partner agencies if they're available to come. So just so people know what's there, but aren't really feeling like they're going to like a service fair. And yeah. so they've gotten to be really popular. Um, this year, it's going to be at Foundation Plaza. Uh, there's construction on Claremont. And so we weren't able to hold it at Corner Park this year, but I think Foundation Plaza is going to be a great place for it. So then Heather and her staff bring the bookmobile. People can see what's there. They usually have the mascot available if it's not too hot out. And it's just kind of a fun time for the community. I um, sorry, I thought I had that turned off, but I didn't. <laughs> okay. I love this. I love the idea, especially the bookmobile. I have very fond memories of being a kid and I lived way out in the country, but one time I saw the bookmobile and I just loved the fact that I could go through and pick out the books. And then I left it up to my mom, you know, to get me back to the library <laughs> to take them back. What I think is so great about the bookmobile is just what you said. It makes it the library so accessible to anyone yeah. in our County. And that's really important. So Heather's done a great job of making sure those bookmobiles are updated. So they've got a nice fancy one. It's got a good wrap on it. So people know that it's coming. They have it named and everything. So, wow. um, yeah. And I, like I said, I love the ocean theme. I love that. I think that's really cool. My husband is very much into oceans, everything oceans. Um, so if I like to make him happy, I just put the screensaver on the TV. There you go. <laughs> I'm all about the ocean too. I like to have a beach chair though, and a book. See, we can tie the library theme right into it. <laughs> All right, Heather, one more question. How young do you start the reading program for? It can be any age, honestly. It can be the activities that where you're actually just reading to your child. It can be a newborn. That counts. It's, you know, it can be an activity where you're playing ball or it, we have different things that are set up. So it's not just about reading, but that is one of our major emphasis is that we're trying to keep people, you know, reading and enjoying all the different materials that we have. That's really cool. I like that. I like that it's expanded. And I know my grandson's Boy, they just love a book because they've always had a book in front of them since they were yeah. really little. And it just make a difference. And watching them enjoy reading and, and getting into books and, you know, everything that they want to know, they can find. Yep. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, thanks, Heather, for giving us some information about the Ashland Public Library. And I love what you're doing. Thank you. Glad to be here. Yeah, absolutely. Stacy, um, what else is going on with the United Way and, and how are you uh, tackling this summer? Well, we're obviously prepping for the next upcoming campaign because those just come around the corner as fast as they can come. So we'll launch that in September. We'll have more information for the community then. Um, I think probably the community's campaigned out of us. So what we try to do is provide um, some fun activities during the summer, which, you know, are the fun Fridays. So June um, 10th, July 8th, and August 5th, all at Foundation Plaza. Um, so come down, get lunch, have some fun, watch the entertainment and participate with the library. Um, we also, there's a reading under the lights that's happening on um, May 26th up at the high school track. And so that's a new event. We are not putting that on, but we are participating. And I wanted to give a shout out to the city schools for doing that. And that's another way for kids to access literacy and get some books prior to that. Heather, are you guys going to that too? I'm not sure. We'll, we'll get to check on that. that one. I've got <laughs> <questions>. <laughs> so um, 
that as well is happening. So that goes from 4.30 to 6.30. Um, and so that's a brand new event this year. We'll see how that goes. I think it'll be fun. And then we have the back to school celebration um, for all of Ashland County, which we talked about. I think we've talked about it almost in all of these where we're handing out book bags to any child in the community, preschool through high school, so that they can start school with the supplies that they need. Um, we don't want any child to feel like they aren't ready because there's a financial strain in the family. So we're really trying to alleviate that for families in our county. Um, and to, to have that happen, it's really a community event. So there's hairstylists all from Ashland that participate, lots of vendors that are doing crafts and activities with kids, other social service providers. So people know what services are in town. There'll be food. There will be entertainment. The, obviously the backpacks will be there. And in order to do that, um, we have our stuff, the bus event. Um, that is August 6th and 7th, which is the tax-free weekend at Walmart, where we're collecting as many items as we possibly can and any donations so that we can then make sure that Associated Charities has all of the items that they need in order to stuff those backpacks for the event. So it's turning into quite a community event, quite a collaboration, which I love to see, especially in a community the size of ours to really be working together for this one single cause makes a lot of sense to me. So um, I'm really, I'm really pleased that it's kind of taken on this tone. So I'm, I'm excited for that as well. So, I mean, everything that we're doing this summer is really community events, trying to get kids, um, just engaged in the community as much as they possibly can. And, um, for them to have a fun summer, kids should be kids during the summer. Yeah. And this is where, uh, you know, obviously people can see the actual, like the hands-on efforts the reason why you do what you do right. and seeing the impact on the community. And I love that. So, so kudos to you for getting out there this summer and doing all kinds of wonderful things to bring awareness. Thanks for saying that, Angie. I mean, I think that that's one of the things that we really want to do is we don't want to be seen just as a fundraising entity. It's really important to me and to the team that works here that they, you know, the community knows that we're out here trying to make as much of a difference as we possibly can and working with all the community organizations so that together we're all strengthened and providing this community with what it needs. So that's really, that's the whole mission of the organization. Fantastic. And everybody knows that Ashland has the nicest people in the world. <laughs> we do. There's it a sign true. that says that, right? Yes. I mean, but if the sign says it, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> I felt it firsthand. So I know. <laughs> All right, ladies, thanks so much for joining me today for the Community Spotlight. Thank you. Thank you. Stacey, could you give your website one more time before you yes. have? It's U-W-A-S-H-L-A-N-D and then the O-H dot O-R-G. So. And you're going to have the information about the library program on there. Yep, we sure will. All right, ladies, thanks again. Thank you. <laughs> Bye.